let's go over to CloudFront and we want to get the distribution ID. So it's in CloudFront and we should see our CloudFront distribution ID here. You can just copy this. What we want to do is to update or build script um, in the package.json so that right after the sync command, we perform a invalidation and that's a way of clearing the CloudFront cache and put in new content. So we're going to do a and issue a new command, which is a AWS CloudFront create invalidation. So you can spell validation on a particular distribution with ID paste and we want to tell it which parts. No, we want to refresh everything so we can do a slash star and we want to escape this or else we may run into some problems. So let's do like this. So which this slash star will get passed in. And we're going to go ahead and save this. And again, let's see if we can actually make some changes as well, just to be on the safe side. So if we go back to, let me collapse my build and I go back to my app.js and I've already typed in with invalidation. This hasn't been pushed yet. And let's save this and do a npm run build. and a deploy we should trigger off our invalidation and sync and there we go now you may have to click um, through this uh, well not click just press the <laughs> enter key to complete the command and i'll just hit q to quit if we go over to our web site and refresh we should see the latest change so that's a nifty way, right? At this point, we have your site serving up through CloudFront. And you no longer have to manually copy and paste up that content. Now, there's a lot more we can do with this. Um, in our next few videos, we'll look into creating a CI CD pipeline so that we can incorporate um, version control as well. We also need to add a domain. Um, this isn't quite friendly. <laughs> And you may want to use your own custom domain. So we'll look at how to do that in the next few videos.